the iconic SoCal Liberace Clouser on this edition of SoCal Fly Time. So a DV, Dave Valadez Liberace Clouser, what is that? Well, it's basically a flashy clouser made using this SF blend material, which is basically a synthetic, very flashy material that has some, uh, some kinky fibers in it. Um, so it gives a bit of a bulk, and here's some, uh, on the top will be some mullet brown. So those are the main two ingredients of the fly, and it has a really nice... Uh, root beer topper that looks really really cool and it's a great pattern um, so this is the original one that Dave uh, showed me to tie and I've been tying this one I think it's considered basically is the Liberace and there's um, you know this this fly does really well for spotted bay bass and uh, overall it's a uh, early morning fly or when that tide really starts to turn and gets really into some muddy uh, water conditions this fly Definitely shines and is a great pattern. Uh, has attributed to a lot of fish. So I would say spotties, uh, even that legendary SoCal bonefish. Caught a few on this one. And then also uh, everything else out there from Corbinas to Croakers to everything. It's eats that eats Liberace Clouser. So what's cool about just these materials overall is that you can just, you know, change them, making your own. And, and I've uh, go ahead and you know, just in that same style of the SF material, and I've made this one here, and this is just basically some chartreuse uh, SF. The topper here is a peacock, so that's a very cool combination. Another one that I like to fish is um, um, peacock, which is basically like a really dark olive, a peacock material uh, over a redfish, and then there's a little bit of that uh, red under uh, orange underbody another great pattern, but you know for this uh, for this tie here what I'm going to show I'm going to go back to the original one, and I'm going to show the uh, Fly the Liberace Clouser DV um, and show that one up. So here we go All right, let's go ahead and tie this uh, DV Liberace Clouser in the vise. I got a uh, size for Gamagatsu B10S, very good uh, spotted bay bass hook overall. Just a great hook to use. And then um, my thread of choice here is some uh, Uni Mono Fine Clear. Uh, great stuff. If you've seen my previous videos, I use that all the time. And I've here I've tapered in my orange SF blend. Um, and a tapering material is essential to getting that profile that you're going to want on that fly. So if people have a bit of difficulty doing that, just let me know and I can go ahead and post how I taper the material. So I'm going to go ahead and just wind back here on the shank of the hook and bring it right back to about the barb. I like to keep my flies consistent, so I'll always stop about the same spot. Give that nice look for it. Um, there you go. That's the back end. That's your orange. That is in. So the next thing to do is bring in, this is a pearl firefly material. Basically it's a shiny pearl, um, synth uh, shiny synthetic uh, made by Wopsy. I'm gonna go ahead and use that to make the interior flash of the fly. And I'll show you how I do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that sections off there. So all you do is you're gonna take this material, this is about three or four strands of this and then just wind it right through the center of the fly the body of the fly um, this doesn't add just more flash this is a Liberace clouser not a conservative clouser this is a flamboyant fly this fly wants to catch the attention of those fish those spotties those unique SoCal bonefish in that dirty Water. So what I do is I just kind of just, you know, built up the um, body of the fly in the back, and then I've done some figure eights right through the dumbbells, and that will then add a nice section there of that through the fly. I don't know if you can see that, but it's nice and shiny through the center. Beautiful. Uh, next thing to do is I'm going to add in some, um, this is some gold crystal flash. So go ahead and just invert the fly here. And 
You can use different color uh, crystal flash. I've kind of settled on the gold. I like the gold. I think it looks kind of cool on this fly, uh, especially with this this orange. I think it really sets it off. Um, I know other guys have used copper, um, and you may want to just mix it up and go with copper on one, and and then go with a um, with the gold on another, and see which one you like better for your fishing needs. How about that? So. Um, Again, just go ahead and just take off these little guys. I locked in place. Beautiful. And what that does, I've set them now uh, two on each side. You know, that's what I wanted to do. So I have two strands of crystal flash on each side of the shank. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to balance this fly off and make it look money. And I think it's looking good. So the next thing I do is add in my mullet brown and this is now again I've tapered it you can see a nice little taper to it um, one of the key things about Liberace that I see a lot of guys do when they build them is they make them really too bulky and, and you'll see these materials when you get them wet if you have too much bulk they, they kind of just flop around they don't um, they don't sink right they don't look right so you you know, one, the key thing is make sure you get everything nice and neat how you want it. And that's about looking good. If you can see, everything's looking neat. I'm getting a nice profile. I'll trim that back end of the um, crystal flash. But see that profile? I got a nice profile, nice taper. That's about what you want. Um, the next thing to do is, and this is a very important part of this fly, I'm going to add in some CCG Hydro right here in the center of the core of this fly. Now why do you do that? Because you got to stiffen this, this, this uh, SF material up a bit through the center. If you do not do this, what will happen is when you um, get this fly wet and you, you fish it, it will turn into a matted mess. So what I like to do is I like to kind of just set it in there, get it nice and neat, and then I'll brush it back. I don't like to press it too hard. I like to just do that, make sure everything's nice and nice and set. There's some moisture in there, and then I'll just hit it. And all you need to do is here is you're going to stiffen up that center, and you'll see that it's nice and stiff. It's good to go. Um, the last thing to do is add in my. If I can get this fly out of here, there you go. If I can add in my um, angel hair. This is the, now this is the color root beer angel hair. Uh, again, this is very unruly material, so just kind of watch how I do this. You got to go ahead and just pull it out. What I'll do is I'll cut it in half, and then I'll kind of roll it on my fingers, something like that. Okay, that's going to go right off to the front of the uh, the fly. Into this, there you go. Set this uh, hook right back in here. So. Double that over. Pull off the errant materials. See, I'm pulling off the kind of the ones that are just going along for the ride. So now I have the ones that I want on the fly. I'm going to build a nice head. And don't worry about the ones that are kind of hanging out here like these here. You can just snip those out. And you can kind of see I get that nice shape to that Liberace Clouser. Nice profile shape as I've been talking about. That looks good. So something like that and I'll go ahead and now add in some more CCG Hydro right here on the head. Something like that. And you can see by using the mono thread and the CCC, CCG I, I do not need to uh, color thread at the end of my fly. Um, that's set right there. Boom. Just cut off your your thread. Now the last bit here is the same thing you did with so you get a better shot of that. The same thing you did, something like that. The same thing you did with that with the core of the fly when you added in the CCG to the mullet brown. Just do it right here to the top to this angel hair 
and be very careful. You do not want to go ahead and just start yanking on that because you'll change that profile of the fly. So you want to make sure you keep the profile of the fly nice and neat. Something like that. And then just now hit that with the CCG. And there it goes, Liberace Clouser. What I'll then do is I'll go ahead and trim off the back end. Really nice to use tapered scissors for that. And there you go. A completed Liberace Clouser ready for some action in the bay. Thanks for watching. This is uh, SoCal Fly Tine. Catch me on uh, Facebook, uh, SoCal Fly Tine, and also on my YouTube channel, SoCal Fly Tine. Thanks. Bye.